Instead of wasting your money on packs and getting jack shit in them, might as well just buy coins from FIFA Ultimate Team Coins and get the players that you want, the team of the year, team of the week, or whatever players that you want, and make sure you use the code MASTER for 5% off. Welcome everybody, this is New Games Master 1 here, and today I'm going to bring you guys my top 10 star tag mid video, in my opinion, and... This list, again, is very biased. It's based on my opinion. Because you're going to be kind of surprised who's in number one. But it's based on my opinion and based on who helped me get to Division 1 and who could compete on Division 1 level. So again, this is my second upload. If you didn't see my first one, go check it out. It's Division 1 gameplay with a 4-3-3 center attack in mid, BPL team, cheap BPL team. So I think you enjoyed that. And here's my top 10 center attack in mid video. So what I want you guys to do is, if you're watching this right now, drop a like and also comment below tell me uh, what do you want to see for next week as videos and without further ado let's get into this so in number 10 I'm gonna give this one to a player that I actually tried a bit in my league uh, squad and it's Joe Matinho and surprisingly this guy was fantastic to me he was all he scored a few goals just a very good well-rounded center attack and did I just loved him a lot so Matinho gets number 10 number 9 I'm gonna give this one to a guy that I used in my last video and I used him early year in FIFA and just been loving him this year, Adam Lalana. He's so fucking good. He has five week for four skills, so any pass with any foot is fantastic. He also finishes. He could finish inside of the box, so I'll give that to him. Good work rates, just amazing player. Guess the number nine spot. Number eight, I'm gonna give this one to another DPL player. And I'm giving one, this one to Oscar. Also, he was on my team in my previous videos. Just, let's put it that way. The other side of about that video is on the list. It's just, they're, they have pace, they're amazing at dribbling, they have amazing passing, they're amazing at skill moves, and they're good at shooting. So what's not to like about him? So Oscar gets eight, and as you guessed it, number seven goes to my main man, uh, Coutinho, this guy, he is so fast and agile and skillful in this game, it's so unreal. If he had 5 star skills, I swear I wouldn't use any other player. He definitely deserves the number 7 spot. Now number 6, I'm going to give this one to a player that's been appearing in my in quite a few top 10 of mine. And it's Luka Modric. This guy, this year, he's incredible. If you're not using Modric, I swear to God, you're fucking missing out. Whether it's a CDM, CM, or CM, he's gonna perform well with his passing, dribbling, shooting, pace, physical, weak foot, skill moves, work pace, whatever you want, he will perform for you. And that gets number six spot. Now we're up to our top five. Number five, I'm gonna give this one to the new youngster Colombian, Hamza. How, you cannot call him James Rodriguez, you gotta call him Hamas. And this guy is just. The only reason I give him better than uh, Modric, I feel like he's more of a center attacking mid. I would never put this guy as a CM, but as a center attacking mid, he's really good because his left foot is crazy for long shots and passes, and his dribbling's good. So that's how he gets up for Modric. So it's like kind of like the more of the longer passes and the longer shots he gets down from Modric. Now we're left with the top. Uh, Quite a few, wait, I kind of fucked up with realistic. So 10 Moutinho, 9 Milana, uh, 8 Oscar, 7 Modric, 6 James. Now we're to the top 5. Sorry if I messed up because I have kind of the numbers fucked up over here. Number 5, I'm going to give this one to Le Francais, Paul Pogba. Oh my god, only if Manu didn't sell this guy. What a hidden gem he was. 76 pace, 83 dribble. Look at that physical stats. He's a 4 star skiller, 4 star weak foot with that 88 physical. He also feels like Yaya Toure with kind of a Coutinho dribbling. I don't know. It's just amazing. Amazing. Definitely deserves number 5 spot. Now we're left with our top 4, number 3. This is the best CAM in the Bundesliga. And I'm talking about Mario Goetze. This guy is hella fast. He's no way 80 pace. He feels so much faster than 80 pace. And he's dribbling, 89 dribbling, the ball always stays like literally like a magnet to his foot. All you need to do is move with the analog stick, do some little, not even skill, it's just move left and right and you beat your opponents. Amazing passing, weak foot. Again, if you realize, they always have four skill moves and at least four weak foot on the most part. Now we're left with the top three. Number three, I'm going to give this one to my fellow Man United player. <laughs> De Maria. My brother thinks he's the best player in the game. He honestly loves him, especially in head-to-head. -head. 
but 90 pace, 87 dribble, 83 passing, 79 shoot, 71 physical. Early game, I put him as a striker, didn't like him that much, but as a center attack mid, I feel like he fits that position so well. I just love him that position, and I think he's worth the coins, too. Left with the top two for center attack mids. Number two, I'm gonna give this one to Lionel Messi. Wait, what? There's no center attacking mid cards of him? Wow, there's no center attacking mid cards of Messi. <laughs> well, here's Messi for you guys. It's just, he, it's a waste of coins to put him as a center attacking mid, but for some reason you put him there, believe me, he's gonna perform extraordinarily well with the medium work rate, so he doesn't push up way too far. He stays there, his pace, his dribbling, his long shots, he even has more space to do work. I think he fits that center attacking mid spot really nice, but again, it's a waste of the coins to spend 3 million on a player just to put him as your center attacking mid and people put him as a striker, that's why. But again, if I'm ta talking about my top 10 center attacking mids, I'll definitely give him number 2 spot. And number 1, if I already said Di Maria, I already said Pablo, I already has said Messi, who would be the best center attacking mid? And I've said, I made a player review about him, I've used him in my early teams, and his name is M. E R T E E N S Dries Mertig. I promise you guys, he is the best center attacking mid I've ever used in FIFA 15. I swear, hand on the bottle, I swear to God, he's the best <laughs> center attacking mid in FIFA 15. Yes, and his pace is fucking awesome. His dribbling is extraordinary. His control, his agility, full people for skill moves. His shooting, that's bullshit. That's utter bullshit. Just watch my play review on him and look at the volleys, look at the finesse shots, look at the power shots, look at the chips that he does. His shooting is out of this world, passing is out of this world. He's hands down the best center attacking man I've used in FIFA 15. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, I'll greatly appreciate that. And that's basically it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.